Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It is the 17th of January. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's look at the news today so far. Of course, we saw US markets open weaker after the long weekend with decliners on way in advance by a fairly significant four to one to remain generally pessimistic. The earnings outlook will continue to dictate sentiment, we suspect, for the next couple of weeks. And we start to ramp up significantly in the companies that are reporting. US futures are following through with a slightly lower rise in Asian trading and Asian markets are following that weak US lead. With the exception of the Nikkei, which has seen renewed buying after a pause yesterday, ASX is around about 0.25% and European futures are pointing to another cautious open this afternoon. The US dollar index popped higher on that equity weakness, breaching the top of the recent short-term range and consequently gold sold off to move to test 2030 support to the downside. It looks slightly higher today, but that may be a wee bit of profit taking. Copper looks soft again, may retest early December lows. Oil edge slightly lower, but is trading mid-range still looking very triangular technically. Bitcoin held above 42,000 after gapping down in Monday's trading. It was slightly higher yesterday and it is pretty neutral today, but markets don't look certain about what to do with cryptos right now. Chinese data is in focus with the GDP, industrial, production and retail sales all out. And UK and Eurozone CPI, importantly, is out this afternoon. So lots of potential market moving information to come out with US retail sales released in all before US equity market open tonight. Obviously, as previously stated, US company reporting is going to be the major sentiment mover. A couple of charts that caught our eye today so far. If we look at the US yen, you can see that strength yesterday on the daily chart and a continuation of the move higher. This was important as it breached this level at around about 145.85 and continued up through 146. And we think this is the next level of interest here, around about this 147.60. After that big move yesterday, you can see it is higher in Asia again today. If we just look at the hourly chart, you can see there. We've just had a slight pullback after that move higher during the US session, but we've got a continuation of buy-in in the Asian session this morning. There's that level of interest. If we put the pivot levels on this, uh, you can see there, around right about this 147.80 looks very interesting for a potential 40 pip move to the upside. Uh, that's one we think is really worth watching. Onto the ASX, and we can see Zipco continues its bounce off the 200 MA. We actually opened lower this morning, but we've seen some buying come back in. So this buying pressure evident in the last two daily candles uh, after that test of 50 cents. We're now up to nearly 55, and we think if there's a breach here, we could get some more buying coming into this, possibly back up towards that $63, which is a fairly significant 15% move to the upside potentially. The fact that this was a double bottom and that is a top shoulder, that that is that second peak, makes it attractive as a potential price target. One worth watching to see if it can breach 55 cents over the course of today's trading. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.